I hate romantic stuff. Oh, sorry. I should probably introduce myself. I'm Duinwen, the patron saint of love. <sighs> That's better. I know, I know. Being the patron saint or the main saint of love, I should be all romantic and love hearts and flowers and chocolate. Well, I do like a bit of chocolate. But my story isn't as simple as that. So can we please get rid of all this lovey-dovey stuff? <sighs> so, who am I and what's my story? Well, the answer to the first question is, Dwynwen, one of King Brychan Brycheiniog's 24 daughters. Yes, I had 23 sisters. Unbelievable. And this was back in the 5th century, so over 1,500 years ago. I still look good for my age, don't I? But the 5th century is such a long time ago, and my memory, well, it's a bit hazy, and uh, I can't really remember much. I can't really remember who I am or what my story is, to be honest with you. And even these history books, they don't know the truth. Not even this, this magic book. Listen to what I've found here. It is possible that Rikraust was her mother. Rikraust? My mother? I've forgotten it all. But do you know what's special about us, the Welsh? Forgetting isn't an option. Instead, we tell stories. Look at me, my heart breaking. According to the history books, this is where my story starts. I'm crying, I've been hurt. No, I haven't fallen over or anything. I've been hurt by love. But this is who's at fault. Melon Davotrish. Oh, I was in love with him. Crazy in love. But Melon had... Excuse me. <sighs> Much better. God, I couldn't hear myself think. But apparently that's how I was. Melon had broken my heart. He wasn't the man I thought he was. He had turned cruel and nasty. So I ran away. <laughs> so I prayed. I prayed and prayed and prayed. Prayed that I didn't have to think about Melon that I didn't have to be in pain over him. I prayed until I fell asleep. And this is when it gets interesting. I began to dream. And an angel appeared. Fear not. For behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy. Uh, Angel, wrong story. This isn't the birth of baby Jesus. Oh, really? Oh, sorry. Oh, doing when? Okay. Drink from this cup so that your pain for Malon goes away and your heart can start oh. to mend. Thanks, Angel. Now, I don't usually take drinks off strangers, but this was my dream, and I had been praying and praying. It was pretty clear to me that she was God's angel. <sighs> I 
think I'm feeling a bit better. Yes, I think I do. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Well, you're going to feel a lot better when you see what's happened to Malon. <laughs> Somehow, this drink had turned Malon into a block of ice. <laughs> he was frozen solid. <laughs> hmm. But even though he'd hurt me, I didn't want to see him suffer. But it's what the angel said next that really surprised me. Because you have shown courage leaving Malon, God has decided to grant you three wishes. Three wishes. All that praying had paid off. God was helping me. Now, I could have asked for chocolate or a cute little puppy. But no, God doesn't work like that. And I knew that this was so much more important. So, firstly, I asked God to defrost Malon. It was important to me that I showed forgiveness. It's no good harboring anger towards someone. So that was wish one, defrost Malon. Then secondly, and this is the important one, I went a little, I don't know, lovey-dovey. Okay, not that much. But I started to think about this falling in love business. And I started to think about how happy and energised I felt when I thought I was in love. And then I thought about how sad I was when I realised that Malon wasn't the one. So, I asked God to help me to look after the people who fall in love. True love. Thirdly, I asked God to make sure that I never wanted to marry. I never wanted to fall in love again. And that is how God made me a saint. The saint of love. I gave my life to God and lived as a nun on Llanddwyn in Anglesey. And that's where I'm buried. Oh, come on. You didn't think I was still alive, did you? I was born in the year 400 and something. But look, Llanddwyn, such a paradise. Thousands of people have come to Llanddwyn over the centuries, especially to see St. Dwynwen's church. You can go there today, but there isn't much of the church left. And they came from afar, seeking guidance and inspiration to deal with love. And there's a well there as well. <laughs> a well as well. <laughs> Saint Duinwen's well, of course. And I'll tell you a secret. The eels that live in the bottom of the well can determine if your love is true or not. But no one is quite sure where the well is today. And well, as you know, my memory is not the best. And that is a version of the story found in the history books, along with other versions. I've also read that I was the saint for sick and injured animals, which makes sense because I love animals. And they did tend to come to the island when they were suffering. I remember, I think. So if your dog, cat, goldfish is ill, or if your budgie's feeling dodgy, pray to me. But there is one thing that the history books don't tell us. God didn't keep his word, not completely. Do you remember what my third wish was? I never wanted to marry. I never wanted to fall in love. It's true, I never wanted to marry, but I did fall in love. And I have no shame in admitting it either. 
I fell in love with myself. I love me. And God knows that that's important, to love ourselves so that we can love each other. And that's why the 25th of January is a special day for everyone. Dydd Gwyl Santes Dwynwen, a day to celebrate love, all kinds of love. So why not send a message to someone you love? Or better still, a card. A card is always so cheerful. <laughs> oh, go on then. Bring me the romantic stuff. Ooh. 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 